In this tutorial I am going to talk about wrap and turn so throw shaping. So uh, let's pretend that uh, I want to grow uh, this part of my knitting uh, higher than this part and this part. So throws can be used uh, giving shape to cardigans, shaping drop shoulders and necklines, giving interesting shape to uh, hems and shaping shawls with interesting construction. So first I'm going to knit to the place where the short throw is to be placed. I have two stitch markers here uh, shown where I should place my wrap and turns to, so the pattern sets that knit to the first marker, slip marker, then knit to the second marker, slip marker, then knit five, three, four, five, and wrap and turn. And now, since this is my right side of the work, and this is my wrong side of the work. I am always um, wrapping the stitch in a way that the yarn that I have is first left on the wrong side of the work. So I will slip, since I'm going to wrap this stitch, I will lift, uh, slip it from the left needle to the right hand needle bring yarn to the front of the work, slip the stitch back to the left hand needle. So I'm turning now, the stitch is wrapped, I'm turning, so I have my stitch wrap here, wrapped here. And now I have made wrap and turn, I have one stitch wrapped here, I am purling. to the other side of the work. My pattern says that purl to the next marker, then purl to the other marker. Then my pattern says purl five. After I have slipped the other marker. Then wrap and turn. So now that I have wrong side facing me, I'm bringing the yarn first on the wrong side of the work, then slipping it back, uh, then slipping the uh, stitch from left hand needle to right hand needle, bringing the yarn in front, then slipping the stitch back, turning my work. And here I go again. Now my pattern says that knit to the last wrap and turn. So I'm knitting where I have placed my wrap and turn. Then my pattern says, work the wrap together with the stitch. So, I have to, it means that I have to knit this wrap together with this stitch that I have wrapped. And I have two options to do that. I could uh, bring the yarn, uh, bring the loop on my needle and then I'm going knitwise to my regular stitch and finding the loop, where is the loop, going through the stitch and knitting it together. That's it. 
So the wrap is hidden on wrong side of the work and it's not visible from the right side. Then my pattern says knit three and wrap and turn. I have knit three after the wrap and turn and then I leave my yarn on wrong side of the work, slipping stitch from left hand needle to right hand needle, bringing the yarn in front, slipping the stitch back and turning my work. Then I'm doing the same to the other side of the work. So I'm purling my pattern is that purl to the last wrap and turn. Now I have purled to the last wrap and turn. And now the pattern says that work or purl the wrap loop together with the stitch. Now I want to hide this loop on wrong side of the work, so I am bringing it to the needle. And this is now uh, the loop is right side here because I first brought it to the wrong side of the work, so it's quite nicely there. Then I'm purling. them together with the stitch. That's it. Now the loop is hidden on the wrong side of the work and it's not visible from the right side. Now my pattern is purl a tree and wrap and turn. So first bring the yarn to the wrong side of the work, slip the stitch from left hand needle to the right hand needle and turn your work. Actually you could slip the stitch here back and then turn your work. And then the pattern says knit to the last wrap and turn. It doesn't mean this wrap and turn because it's already knit together but it means the wrap and the turn that it's not yet worked. together with the stitch. Then work the stitch together with the uh, wrap loop. So this is how I usually do it. I don't bring it to the needle but I will work it straight from here. And then I just pull the stitch in the front. So that's the other option that I mentioned before to do that thing. Then knit three and wrap and turn. Yarn on the back, slip the stitch, bring the yarn in front, slip the stitch back, back and turn your work. And now to purl side. Bring the yarn in front or to the needle and work the loop together. And now at this point, as you can see, the wrap is usually usually goes on pearl side. A little bit got tangles with the stitch, so just bring the uh, regular stitch loop in the front with a little help of the needle. And now my pattern says that knit to the end and work the uh, last wrap loop together with the stitch. So you can either bring it here, then find like that. Now I should 
work the last loop together with the stitch. That's it. Last loop. Here you go. And then helping the last last loop to get hidden there. So as you can see, I have been growing the piece so it's it's much more it has much more depth from the middle than uh, from the sides. So you can for example imagine that this is a top down garment that has crop shoulders. This could be a back piece of a uh, top-down sweater. And this is how you work wrap and turns.